the best financial advice I had ever heard. And this comes from Grant Cardone. And he said, stay broke. And let me give you a story and then I'll tell you what this means. So when I was first out of PT school, uh, I worked a lot in PT and then I came to the studio at night. And I think within the first couple of years, I had like 50,000 in the bank at 27 years old. And I remember I was going to work and I was like, I don't know why I'm going to work right now. I have tons of money in the bank, right? I had no motivation. I had, I had like little motivation to work. I still went, um, but it wasn't there because I, I was too comfortable. Anyway, Grant Cardone's advice is stay broke. So what does that mean? It means that you work hard, you make the money, and then you invest it. Now he would say that the main vehicle is real estate, which I agree. You could also do stocks, bonds, whatever, but you're investing that money, right? Because if you just put the money in the bank, the bank's gonna use your money to invest it, and you're not gonna make any interest on it. My parents, they were in the generation where if you did put your money in the bank, you made interest, you don't anymore. So like having your money in the bank and not working for you is not a good strategy. You want your money to be able to create new money just by being in different things. Now, that has to be research, but the point is you stay broke. Why? Let's say I make 10,000 and I invest eight or nine. I only have a thousand in my bank and all that money is dispersed out. Well, what does that mean? I'm now motivated to make more money to put in my account because I don't have it as liquid as I want it to be. Now, it could be in stocks and whatever, but for the point I'm making, you stay broke. So you stay hungry. It's like that scene in Rocky, Rocky IV, where he is a millionaire, he's on top of the world, he has the mansion, the, the wife, the kid, all the new toys, and he's lost his motivation. He's lost the eye of the tiger, right? Because you have too many things. What does he have to do? He has to, you know, start training on his own, right? Because this is, he's going to Russia, but going back to like the nitty gritty, and the same thing, it could be in Rocky III, where he goes to where Apollo Creed trained. And it's people who are hungry, people who want to do it. Because it's easy to be hungry on the way up, but if you get complacent, someone else will take your spot. Back to my story. So if you always have this motivation, right, to make money, to make money, uh, and you keep investing it, eventually, let's talk about what happens, the money that you invested, as long as it's good investments, makes more money, but you have the motivation to keep making money and involving, right? So more money, more money, then you have your financial security and stability. So I always think about that. When I make money, I try to invest it in smart investments and then go from there, right? Another thing I do see uh, younger men making is don't keep door dashing like your food to you. Way too expensive. Just look at your expenses because again, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you can save and invest, right? So look at the things you're doing and if you're spending too much money in a certain area, pull back make decisions to change, especially if you're younger. If I had heard Grant Cardone's information when I had the 50,000 in the bank, I wouldn't have bought my first BMW. I would have kept my car and invested that money, right? So uh, I wish I'd found that information sooner, but I can give that to you. Maybe you're 18, 19, 20, and you have some money, you're making it, go invest it. Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Bachner. Don't forget to check out my new book, Hug Learns to Believe.